I thought it said, no, I'm late then. Do you know what's funny is my little guy, I told you he was going to be watching. He ju I just saw a text pop down where he's like, do you need any help? Are you guys figuring we it do out? Need it. We needed his help. Okay. If anyone's here, we are so sorry. I thought we were live. We've been talking, Maury and I. I'm new to this, guys. We've been talking for the past eight minutes like you guys were listening. <laughs> and we've had some good laughs. And oh my, I was wondering, I was thinking, geez, I know people said they were going to be here. I wonder where they are. And there were no chats. Oh, I hope that we didn't miss people. Oh, well, I hope yeah. you guys were stuck by and that you're here. And uh, okay. And I've got one comment here. Okay. Hi from Denmark, Stein. There we go. Hi, Stein. Yay. Stein, I messed up. <laughs> I was, Lanny. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Lanny. I, I was just talking to Lanny over there. And uh, hi, Frank. I was just talking to Lanny over on TikTok. And she said she was coming over. And Lanny, I was late. I messed up. I had technical technical difficulties. And I am no oh. one. <laughs> okay, so I want to review that a little bit because because we talked a bit about I've already been talking to Maury about her skin and we were she was mentioning that she didn't have issues with her skin with the acne until later in your twenties mm -hmm. and and my point and what I really want to talk to uh, Maury about and kind of point out to everybody is that. I hear people saying all the time that, well, for mature skin, you've got mature skin. You're, like, we're all advertising mature skin, but mature skin doesn't mean dry, dry all the time. It doesn't mean that everybody should glow. It doesn't mean everybody needs to use that kind of tinted moisturizer foundation or, or look because it doesn't like that won't suit you. And, mm -hmm. and even me, I have a normal to dry skin and I like usually a more uh, fuller coverage, but um what else did we miss? I can't remember. I but you know what? I will tell you this. You remember the glow recipe when it went super viral and everybody was like all of whatever. Was it watermelon? I don't know. It was pink. It just looked like it smelled yeah. good. And I wanted to put it all over my entire body. I want to take a bath in it. And absolutely not. No, no I'm old enough it. now to understand that I'm not going to fall for the gimmick of, of the glow. I never fell into the glow. I was still over here with my matte yeah. products going. And, and I think that's Lanny saying hi to you. Hi. Lit, she, <laughs> I can't I see the stuff, right? You know what? I wonder yeah. because you can oh, share it to your stream oh. as well on YouTube. I just have to figure out how to do oh. that. Oh, I can see. I just have to click over to it, I think. Can you see it? I can I can click on to comments and wait, if I say join the chat, will that I hope you can chat. We'll, oh, we'll I try. Lost I don't want to <laughs> oh goodness. We lost her. Well, oh, I like right. you that. Way. No. I was trying, but it was trying to move me over somewhere else. Okay. Well, know. I'll I'm gonna be the moderator. I will tell you when people have questions. Okay. Um, you my my eleven year old is about to come in here probably and be like, ah, mom. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's good. Well, tell him he could be our moderator. If he's we will take advice anytime. I love okay. him that way. Well, oh my gosh, if, he's so cute. Yeah. He's pretty, he's pretty darn cute. I, I'm pretty lucky that I got two polar opposites. I want mm -hmm. him to come to my house and help decorate. Oh, he's done the whole house. Like I don't I tell people enough unless you're here and you walk in and I'm like, no, Ellison did this. Ellison did that. Nice. Yeah, he really nice. does. Yeah. I need to do a room tour of his. Yes, you do. Cause yeah, that's what our, his he, bedroom. He, yeah. He could have uh, he could have a business. Lanny's saying I have such combo skin right now, sweaty but dry. I'm finding that too. Like I've always been actually dry, but I am getting acne now all in here. Like I'm not going to complain, but I'm I'm actually using Polish Choice BHA every day to try to remove all the oil because. Mm -hmm. But I've never had that before. I think it's hormones. Yeah, I I'm no I'm getting a lot right here as well right now. Um, you know, hot flashes are a real thing too in the night and whatnot, but I definitely notice, and I'm, I'm a side sleeper. So because I sleep on this side, I am no, probably cause I'm pressing, you know, um, yeah. this side definitely gets more 
of that of that breakout um yeah. and what i put a, a sally silic acid sally my friend sally, sally. Put a sally. Um, little, i put a mask actually uh right there just every night so that it just keeps it at bay you put something matte there mask mm -hmm. oh a mask oh you do mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. hey yeah. jody Jody's um, Jody and I are going on a live on Wednesday. I saw her on YouTube and I'm like, Hey, you want to do a live? <laughs> so she, her and I are going to do a live. Uh, it's a live party. <laughs> yeah. We're, I, like it, I like it. I get tired of talking to myself. Right. It is nice to have feedback. I would right. imagine. I don't know. Oh, I lost you. Sorry. Uh, That's okay. Phone call. That's okay. It'll happen. Don't worry. It's yeah. Um, it's, you go uh, to work, I so you have you have your community where you get to talk to everybody. When you're, if any, anyone doesn't know, um, Maury is. What do you What do you do again? You're you're an insurance. I'm the director of operations of an insurance yeah. agency. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so my you get Monday to talk to Friday. people daily. Yes. Yeah. I get Adults. to talk to myself. It's yeah. a, it's I talk to myself a lot too, still. Well, you, know. you know what? I, I think I've done that all my life. So there you go. So what salicylic acid do you use? Is that same with in, in the same eminence family? It is. Yes. I was sharing earlier that this eminence brand, eminence, E-M-I-N, well, whatever. I can't spell it. Um, yeah. It's organic. It's all plants. It's, they actually, every time you buy a product from them, they plant a tree or some, <clears throat> I don't know, almond mom crap. Um, almond mom. I, I say granola. Granola. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I love almonds and moms. Don't get me wrong. And the planet. <laughs> but um, it is kind of expensive. And so as I was explaining to you, if you are going to use or purchase from them, going direct is best. Um, okay. How I found, but there we have, because I live in Reno, Nevada. So we have a lot of the casino resorts here and that is the best place to get like a true spa day um so that's where they sell those products because they're a little higher end i don't know that there are very many actual estheticians in my area that specialize in the line but every time i would go on to eminence to purchase their products they want you at the end to associate it, it to whatever local um, salon or spa carries their line so that okay. probably they kick commission down to them, I guess. I have no idea. Um, and every time I would go on there, there's only like four or five in the, the whole area that I'm in, which is actually fairly big. Yeah. And one of them was always skincare by James, skincare by James. So I would always there you go. And that's because it was the, that yes. Yeah. It was the only one that wasn't some big spa resort. So finally I'm like, I'm calling this guy. Okay. Um, he's could quite possibly be the love of my life. Like he's amazing. I go every four weeks. He is a former drag queen. Like he is phenomenal and he is like a master in all things eminence. Um, and it's been, it's been nice. good. I have learned so much from him. So. I wonder if they have it in Canada. I'll have to check. I don't know, but for some reason I feel like even though it says hungry, I feel like, they do have some affiliation with something in Canada. I'm not sure they must. if it's, if it's maybe it's a worldwide, mm -hmm. I can probably Google, Google that right now. So mm -hmm. when we, when you do your skincare, where, walk me through what you do in the morning, like before you put your makeup on, what do you, do you use a toner? Do you use a moisturizer? Do you, what are your steps? Okay. So I cleanse. It's okay. my first step. Yeah. You I like cleanse a every morning. You like the mm -hmm. foaming cleanser? You like a foaming cleanser? Mm -hmm. I do a foamy cleanse. Um, these things right here, I brought all these things out. Um, these things right here, these makeup erasers. Mm -hmm. I just have these little handheld jobs and you can kind of wear it like that. I, there's, I have seven of them, one for each day of the week. And I will use that with my cleanser in the morning. This is the only exfoliator I can use. Okay. I also um, have, I don't know if you shared this anywhere, but I have a full uh, beard situation also that I deal with hormonal growth. It's yeah. 
very most likely I do have PCOS. That I was going to say that, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. I have, you know, seven out of the eight. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. So most likely I do know that my hormone levels are extremely high. And so I do get a full and I need to just electrolysis was what they had in back in the day when I really cared about this and it was getting very strong and thick. Um, and it, I wasn't a candidate because I'm pretty fair and I'm light fair. haired and it just, mm -mm, it was, it wouldn't fly. Um, and they tried it. I did try it and it just, it wouldn't take. And now I know that it has come such a long way with laser. So, um, I do shave. I shave every morning, me and my husband, we lather up. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good bonding moment mm -hmm. to be with mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which I it's I could care less I've done many many shaving videos on TikTok it's it's part of it it is what it is um unfortunately with the acne prone skin it does make it a little more well that um, I think that's even with the exfoliating right because you're removing the you're almost, you're removing the oils and the skin cells from over top and then it's bringing that out and, mm -hmm. and that can, it always happens. And that's what happens when even you start a new skincare that it, it almost reactivates everything. Yeah. So yeah. I, and I'm just, I've tried quite a few. I let, I let James do that. And then the shaving. And I do notice that even with this, if I go a little too rough, like on my forehead or something, I will get a dry patch there from just a little too much. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, that will get your dry patch. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Anytime I'll use any exfoliator, I dry, it dries me out. Mm -hmm. I am the weirdest guy. I know. So um, what anyway. What do you do then? So you moisturize and then do you use a primer? I do use a primer. I'm just going to do it while we're talking. Yeah, I let's do so that. many eminence products. Um, well, that's okay which, though, because this is, I, it's something that I don't know that brand. So that's why it's yeah, good to I, 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 It's one of those things where, you know, I started with the cleanser and I noticed a difference and I liked it. So I added another and another and another, and I try other things. I get other things. Um, I don't, you may be on the rock skincare, uh, PR list. Okay. I've gotten so many things from them. I won't try it because when I find something because of my sensitive acne prone skin, when I find something that works for me, I will use it until it stops working for me. So I find it very hard to play with other lines. Yeah. Um, because, well, because a lot of the times I have a reaction. It works, so why bother? Yeah, And I think that's another thing so. for people to note too, is it, we can be bombarded by all of these brands and all of these here, like you have to try this. This is the next best thing on the market. This is, and, and it's not, I love trying all these things, but first of all, we only have one face and right. it's hard to try all these things. And you, once you try a product, you got to give it a good shot to, um, to really see if it works. But once you find something that works, stick with it. Right. And that's, you don't have to bounce around and you don't have to have the most popular thing that you're seeing out there. So is that an eye cream from Eminence as well? This is an eye cream and this is the, um, it's an age corrective eye serum. It's Neroli because all their stuff is organic. Um, I don't, I, I believe I shared this with you before. So yeah. I don't have, um, I've never done Botox or fillers. I can't use, I don't use a retinol. I don't use a tretinoin. I don't use anything but this organic natural skincare because yeah. for whatever dying reason, it is the only thing my skin likes at least yeah. right now. Um, does this bother me? <laughs> it's starting to. Mm -hmm. In these in particular. And now yeah. that I have that like, that um you actually hit it there, it like highlights it my mom walked in she's like stop doing that I'm all it's the zit too it's just <laughs> amplifying it <laughs> but uh, you know what I bought the I bought these these frownies I'm gonna try and? it 
Oh, Let me I try. I feel like I'm too dark in here. I feel like I'm really bright. Um, I do get Botox. I do all that stuff for sure. And I love what, and you know what, maybe some point I'll change because I've never tried actual like so know, listen to this oh i think i look better there i was really bright i looked like i was an angel <laughs> oh really yeah no, that's good yeah. Yeah. yeah so i went to my uh my my nurse practitioner that does my botox and um she said that there's a new off-label use for botox and they're putting it superficially into the skin and it's stopping the oils so people are noticing that their pores have shrunk right up and they're act there. It's they will now they're starting to inject it right into a, a pimple and it will just stop everything. You're popular, Maury. <laughs> I lost her again, guys. I'm so it's so nice of her to do this with me. This is what I'd like to do for anyone else that um, may want to join me on like on a live. If uh, if we get Maury back, let's see. We will. I don't know if I have to send her another invite or not. Let's see. We're coming back. Yeah, we're coming back in. <laughs> so, um, yeah, she was telling me about all these. She's been traveling all over the place. She went to Switzerland and she's just been learning all over the world. And she said, it's really interesting. It's like, um, oh, what did she had a little name for it? But instead of going into the muscle and they do that for Botox, they do that for sweating. Mm -hmm. They'll do yeah. that for hyperhidrosis where they'll just mm -hmm. uh, use Botox. And my daughter had that done once. It was awesome. So, you know, some people really struggle with that They're And it's, it's not anything deathly, but it's embarrassing to have their clothes soaking wet from excessive mm -hmm. sweat. And mm -hmm. I thought, well, that makes total sense because it stops the sweat. So it's going to stop the oils from popping through. Yeah. It'll be interesting to see where that goes. But yeah. So then, so you do your eye cream and your moisturizer and then do you use a primer? I do. Funny enough, it's not an eminence primer, but I use, I use an eminence moisturizer, but I put water in it. So I just put like a little dollop in my hand and I put like 15 probably squirts ish of water so that it, I mean, I'm, it's really wet, like dripping and I smear that all over. And that is how I put moisturizer on my face. So you really dilute it. I really dilute it. Um, and it, does a multitude of things it makes it really easy to make sure you are and i am like i am cream you can't really tell but like yeah in between you can see it's creamy still don't i mean like it does its job and with all that water i feel like it really i don't know helps to penetrate it um i'm even careful sometimes with using a hyaluronic acid because i just feel like even when using it with moisture it can dry me out but I mean, I can get all the way and it feels like I am really still getting everything I need to. Now, is that because it's a more concentrated formulation? Is that, you know, I don't know that it necessarily is, but that was a little tippy I learned actually from James. And he said that is something that the brand recommends that you do. Um, so I do it with everything. Okay. Yeah, I that's probably one of my favorite little because you know if I'd use that same little dollop and evenly kind of spread it, like I was probably gonna get that on, but it you don't feel like you're gonna and now I am super and this stuff is like super hydrating. Yeah, super you're hydrating. bouncy. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's good. It's the mango steam. Again, nice. with the plants, you know, even the neroli, because the eye serum is supposed to be neroli is supposed to be a natural retinol yeah um i feel like you, uh, i don't know if that's what um uh, or what ingredient does and now that's really very pricey but i know that um tatcha has a serum it's it's the tatcha silk serum and it doesn't have retinol but they're saying that it has those strengths and there's a lot of pe there's a lot of companies out there using more natural ingredients for a um comparable retinol product mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, that's good. Um, I feel like, have I seen licorice root even? Maybe. As Maybe. One? 
Um, so I use the Mac Studio Fix. This is called Mac Studio Fix Mattifying 12 Hour Shine Control Primer. I never, ever, ever, ever found a primer that I liked or that I thought made any kind of difference until I found that. And funny enough, it was a girlfriend of mine that just like gave me half of her tube and was like, here, try this. I think you're going to like it. I'm like, okay. And now I'm, I am love in love it. and I do actually feel like it makes, makes a difference, but probably only people with oil. I like to make sure I really rub it in on the sides, but now that, that kind of bounce actually, you notice went away. It yes. is super mattifying. Like I feel almost powdery now okay. versus oily or even moisturized. I mean, yeah, I put it all in there, but I then just kind of yeah, took it, it didn't away. leave your skin. You've just you've just now mm -hmm. put a different layer on it that just has a different action to it. Mm -hmm. And this oh. was one of those the first times I had tried a primer where it was a an immediate noticeable different. It's one that you gotta you know kind of try it to notice it. Um, I don't know of a another one really like that. There's mm -hmm. a there was another actually there's a couple makeup artists professional makeup artists that have uh, I've watched on YouTube and they swear by that too, especially mm -hmm. the with combination skin not everybody has oily all over but this is the big area right here right yeah and they use that there was a a few of them that used that that i actually used the 24 hour this one for my eye primer today mm -hmm. for my eyeshadow to get my glitter to like my little shine to stay mm -hmm. i love it that it's that same idea it's powerful, mm -hmm. it's powerful. yeah and it works good it works. And I even find on this that it takes a bit. I keep looking at you and I'm not looking at the camera, which means I'm actually not looking at you. Uh, I have to learn how to do this. I don't part. think I've looked at the camera <laughs> once. Hi. So, <laughs> so this one, when I remember when I worked at Mac, when this first came out and it was a struggle for us a little bit to learn how to put eyeshadow over top of it because it grabbed like it, mm -hmm. it really did have a grip to it. Um, but that's why I love it for any kind of shimmer. You could probably use a little bit of your, um, well, we'll get into your eye makeup. You, do you use, cause you love glitter like me. Do you ever use that on your eye just to do I? Oh, I love, um, I, I do not use an eyeshadow I, primer. Really? And it lasts on you. Mm hmm. Which you wouldn't think is the case because of the oils, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. why would my eyelids not be oily as well? And I do think that they are. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's in my process. I know you got Chauncey there. Stein is so cute. Stein is uh, my most loyal um, YouTube follower. And she comments on everything. And she's in Denmark. So I just... I, every time I see her, I'm like, Stein. she was like my first, um, the first one that not the first one, but she, she's very good. She knows how much it helps when uh, she comments and stuff. So she's given you a big thumbs up. <laughs> and, uh, well, okay. Hi Stein. Hi Stein. She said, um, well, I guess she sees you. Okay. So next on to, uh, so next on to your, you've got, so what do you use for primer? Or is it, is it your skincare that you use for primer? Um, so I actually will, and this might be slightly controversial, but I'm going to say it anyway. I don't think there's I, rules. Well, I'm glad that you said that because I agree. Um, I know that a lot of people will tend to um, use a little amount of foundation and brush it on just in kind of the areas um, even like what our friend Amanda Hill does with the, the kind of, uh, she has a, she has a trademark name, fusion, the fusion method, okay. right. Where she just kind of like spot conceals. I am a full coverage guy and maybe at some point in my life or age that will change, but I, I do. And I notice a lot of people will even younger artists who I feel could probably put an entire bottle of anything on their face and it's still going to look good yeah. will avoid the eye area 
use a concealer and or maybe a, a primer. I know like the MAC Paint Pot was popular for a long time. I think some of them will, that the Pierre Louise, I've heard that. And I, I use my found, whoa, we're having whoa. a light show. What I, happened? I accidentally kicked the plug. We're having a lot of technical difficulties. I know. Hang on. But I can still see your heart shimmering from your headband. <laughs> I kicked the plug and knocked my dang lights out. <laughs> Oh it's gosh, so we are a pair. Mari, you're so funny. <laughs> um, I put my foundation on my eyes. I, I don't think that because your foundation is um Estee Lauder Double Wear. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. why though, because it's yeah. like if you it's used light. a glowy tinted moisturizer, it would never work. It's it would never work of your choice. That's why. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 So um, let's see if I can make some, some foundation art. Another controversial thing I do, because that's my middle name, is controversy. I don't know if you knew that about me no, or not. No, but I, well, I believe it, though. Um, I like to put my foundation right onto to my makeup sponge. Did that translate to a heart at all? It did. <laughs> oh, look. Say goodbye to her. Yes. And that one looked perfect skin. And that, <laughs> and that makes you happy. But I, I, this is what I was teaching one of the, um, one of my clients the other day is the, it makes sense that you like a sponge because that pushes it into your pores as well. It gives you more coverage. It, mm -hmm. um, like there's so many advantages to doing that. And then of course, any excess will be soaked up by it as well. Yeah. But what color are you in the Estee Lauder double wear? Well, this is a crew. Okay. But um, I'm probably right now a little more ivory nude. So that's a one in one. One and one. Yeah. Okay. Which they it they go lighter, but that's that's pretty low. And then a crew is a one in two. So I mean I'm pretty low on the Richter pretty scale, light. if you yeah. know what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm fairer than I look, although. I mean, this will, I, sometimes I feel it in particular in camera that I can look because I am so fair, a little off on the color. We're good. But I've seen you in person. It's not off. Yeah. 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 It's funny how that kind of happens. Yeah. I think it's because I'm a, a little reddish on my chest. Yeah. In particular even in, in this room. Hands, even if you look at your hands. Mm -hmm. you're, yeah. I, my hands are very red. I also have really bad eczema. <laughs> interesting yeah i'm a weirdo i know Whatever. i always feel like i know that um lexi she's my my one that struggles her um her diet really plays like she can't have gluten if she gets gluten, oh, yeah. it mm -hmm. really is mm -hmm. hard for her because she travels for work and there's so many places that like they make fun of her for having a gluten allergy they're like no we don't have gluten free free anything yeah. here in the south and um, she really struggles. So even if they think that it's gluten free, she can tell immediately. And it's not even necessarily her, it is her stomach, but it will come out in her skin and her scalp. Yeah, her scalp, her scalp will get uh, really kind of not fun. Yeah, not fun at all in her skin. It, she'll immediately break out. It's and mine is all on my the palms of my hands. And funny enough, like right now, it's, I'm kind of broken out because I've been, you can kind of see, um, I had cheat meal over the weekend because I do the keto. So yeah. I, I, you know, when I'm being good on keto, I'm good. It's, it's good. You know? mm -hmm. Yeah. But, you know, maybe I had a donut this weekend. But we <laughs> You're <laughs> <laughs> I do have a cream for that. <laughs> so do you ever pull it, pull it down? That, that's the, with the Estee Lauder double wear, it's such a, a full coverage um, that that's not something that's easy to kind of pull down onto mm -hmm. your neck. I mean, you can here, but then if you go down further, you're kind of, you always have to worry about it getting on your clothes too. But do you ever, do you ever pull it down here if you're wearing a lower cut? Um, I don't typically, uh, I, you know, I don't have like a whole lot of freckling. I do have, I have like one kind of birthmarky thing I've had forever right there. I don't have a lot of freckling. I am kind of red. 
Just but a I, suggestion if you ever want to, you know how you really go. If you ever, if you ever <laughs> want to just turn that into a tinted moisturizer, just mix your, your moisturizer in with your Estee Lauder. You turn it into its own tinted moisturizer. Like if you're wearing kind of a sexy uh, outfit or just because it will be the same color as what you have on your face, but then you, it will shear it out a little bit. So it'll just bring it down a little bit, just a tiny bit of your moisturizer and, uh -huh. and make it a tinted moisturizer could work. I, these are the tips we're here for. Yeah. We're going to go over this guy. Uh, you know what I love though? And it's so inexpensive. This it's revolution glow. You can't even read it anymore, but it's like this kind of, I don't know. It's like, it's got a little color in it too. And then okay. a shimmer. So if you put that on, you know, like here, a little on yeah. and on, it's very pretty. Well, that's what I'm fine. I haven't self tanned my skin. I'm going to look at you for a minute. I, but I can't look at you, but I'm looking at you. <laughs> so weird. I want to see you, Maury. So um, that's a cheat day's okay, Stein says. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, well, you celebrated our Canadian Thanksgiving with us by having your donut. There you go. Uh -huh. You have to have a little see? treat. Yes. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so that's what I find because I haven't self-tanned my skin in a while. And I... I'm so used to doing that, that I forget that I have Irish skin and I am all red in here, but I had my Morpheus E treatment the other day. So I'm just giving my skin a break from my self tanner and it, I'm very, very fair right now, but when I'm really fair, I've got all the redness popping through. So that makes sense with your spray. It's mm -hmm. got that kind of golden tan, right? Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. that counteracts your pink. Evens it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, evens it yeah. all up. Not, and I, I also, that's why I do my self tanner. I will just kind of mist like my chest and maybe a little bit kind of want two squirts down my arms. Um, do you find that with, that gets in your, on your clothes at all? No, I'll do that like at night before oh, I go okay. to bed, just with like a self tanner. I, I oh. like the, I don't think I have one near me, but I like the, uh, the San Tropez face and body mist or whatever. Yeah. And I can just do a couple squirts across my chest and a little bit down my arms and it will change me a whole color shade. Yeah. Which I do kind of prefer because it's better from a coverage standpoint. Yeah. Um, in particular, when you have a little, a little breakout. Like yeah. That guy. Um, I don't wear concealer every day. Funny enough. I mean, it's hard to tell in the lighting in here, maybe, but I don't, I have a little shadowing. Mm -hmm. It's maybe getting worse as I get older, but sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But again, I don't think that that's a rule. I don't yeah. think. Um, I'll do a little just for you guys, for funsies. It's just yeah. the Estee Lauder. Estee Lauder. Yeah. I'm just going to do a dot of it. I think to, uh, where I'm finding a lot of people struggle, um, it used to be when I worked for Bobby Brown that we would, and, and a lot of people still say this, that your under eyes should be one to two shades lighter than your foundation. But that can't be the rule for everybody because some people have fair, like fairer skin and then this is darker. Right. So mm -hmm. if they're putting concealer on this, that's already darker and then they're trying to make it one to two shades lighter than their facial skin, like this part, then that actually means they're taking it three steps lighter, but then that, that could really cause gray to happen. Mm -hmm. It really can cause a lot of discoloration in here. And I remember working with a woman when I worked in, uh, in Lord and Taylor in Westfield, New Jersey. And I just wanted to, it wasn't my place, but I just wanted to pull her to my chair. She worked at Lord and Taylor and, um, but you can really accentuate you can accentuate darkness and you can accentuate wrinkles, but if you're happy because you already have your Estee Lauder covering, you're getting a lot of coverage there anyway. Mm -hmm. And then by the time you add your bronzer and your blush and your color, that's actually going to look highlighted anyways. Right. Because this area is going to be lighter than this area. Mm -hmm. So if you're happy with that coverage, then that's good. That's mm -hmm. fine. You don't have Sometimes to. Sometimes I'll, I'll almost prefer to do reverse and go in with maybe a different shade or the next shade up or a half a shade. Gosh, it's so easy these days with some of these higher end brands. And just in these areas do, you know, maybe. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah. But 
for me, um, I use a translucent powder every day. You do? Yeah. Which one? We're going to tap it in. Tap it in here. Uh, the, I like the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. I, that that is, um, I actually really like the, I don't, have you seen LEJ Beauty? Yep. I've used okay. a few things. I loved her palette. I purchased her. This is the end of it. I have none left. This going bananas um, translucent set. It is so, 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 I loved this. I really, really loved this a lot. Um, you just can't go to Ulta and pick it up. You know, that's, yeah, that's the that's only the unfortunate problem. thing. I love to support small brands though. So I will go pop on. And sometimes small brands like that, they don't necessarily have the same product all the time. Mm -hmm. So I got to go find out if she does, because it would be a definite repurchase. I wonder what the difference was. Is it like, because the one that you're using, I have a few of those too. I've got the... Oh, mm -hmm. Laura Mercier. Um, but this one, that's the one you're using, right? The original? I'm using the original because I still have some left, but I just bought the 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 beige lid. I think it's talc free. It is. I'm not sure you're gonna like it as much. Have Probably you tried not. it? No. I can't wear this as much as I can wear this because this makes me look a little bit dry. Too dry. Mm -hmm. This is what I would use for an oilier skin. This one almost has a bit of a, a, it's not radiant, but it doesn't mat you out as much. And it almost feels a little bit finely, finer milled, not to say okay. one's better than the other, but if I were to do your makeup, I would use this on you, maybe this on the outskirts, like, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, this maybe on your, in your T-zone area and this on the rest where you don't need as much control, mm -hmm. but generally I use this one for me. Sometimes want... lately I've been doing that for here too, though. Yeah. Cause I don't know what's wrong with me. I mean, it's, I, I never imagined that I would get oilier, oilier as I got older, but it seems to be happening. So funny, but I think it's just hormone. Yeah. And yeah. I also think, like everything's starting to sag, right? So as everything starts to sag, Mm -hmm. my, my, if you can imagine those little holes of your pores, small, but then the weight, <laughs> the weight of your skin is sag, pulling mm -hmm. it down and your pores are going to get larger just by gravity. Yeah. It looks like that painting where the guy's like, Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Does that scream? Yeah. I should know that. Is that Van Gogh too? Yeah, I should know I, that too, right? This is Van Gogh. I think so. <laughs> or yeah, I think, I don't know. It is. It is Van Gogh. Yeah, I think it is Van Gogh. Yeah, because yeah, he had kind of the abstract. Any, okay, that's a whole other thing. Although, the love of paint is what got me into makeup. It's art therapy, isn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I think that's all of us. It's Mr. Mr. Ross right there with his happy little tree, if you can oh, see yeah, him. Yeah. Uh -huh. Bob I used Ross. I watch him every yeah. Sunday. I used to watch him so, as a little girl. Mm -hmm. Every Sunday, yeah. And I would just sit there and Happy little clouds. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was the mm -hmm. happy accident. Mm -hmm. Yep. So now all the rage is cream bronzers and cream blushes. And I'm guessing that you stay away from that stuff. Um, okay. Well, I have them. So I have, I think I just a couple of videos back on my TikTok posted about using all cream products because it's not something I typically do. What I do notice with the cream products is that they don't seem to give me the same coverage that I like, prefer on a day-to-day -day basis. But on like a Saturday, if we're just running to the grocery store, it's quick, it's easy. <laughs> oh, I can see it. Oh, let me get him closer. I didn't know I don't could do that. Booty. Don't look at my booty. I just, I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Got a little tree. I didn't oh, and a, and I could put your, yeah. your cats on there. Mm -hmm. It's a, a squirrel. There you go. Everybody's giving you compliments. And I, now I, I realized I can show you. Oh, that's cute. Okay. Yeah. I know the Bob Ross one was the first one I saw. <laughs> yeah. More your robe Bob. is cute. Okay. 
Well, now I know. So any, any, any other comments I can, it now helps. I know I'm learning how to use this. That is really cute. Eh? Where did okay, you? Okay. I obviously this got washed with jeans. Look at that dinge, but yeah, it's like a little short. I love it. Short robe. It makes me feel very, um, <laughs> very, very luxury. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Something. I got it at TJ Maxx. Like so probably $12.99. <laughs> I had a feeling yeah. that you were going to say that. Yeah. Dynasty, mm -hmm. uh, like, um, what were those Dallas, those, those, mm -hmm. elephants, they mm -hmm. were fancy. I should attach fur, like, so fur onto yeah, the edges. Exactly. Yeah. Really elevate it. You mm -hmm. just need your heels. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so I go right in, I go right in with, with Chauncey. That's this guy right here, um, into my thing. And I wash Chauncey every single day. Okay. Um, every, before I use them, I can't, I couldn't like, so this is him. My cat got him too. So he's a little holy or he's filled with Jesus. I don't know, but he's got a lot of holes <laughs> in him. And so uh, from the caddy, but I will, I could, I could never, I could never use that in a million years because it would break me out probably. But I know that there are people that will just go like wet that mother down and hit that again. Yeah, I, I it just I couldn't do it. Um, so I have to wash him every single time. And so he's very, as you can tell, like this is a dried guy, you know, and yeah, he's very squishy. This one's hard. This one's what do you wash it with? I knew you were going to ask because everybody does. Neutrogena Physicians Liquid for oh no, just liquid Neutrogena. I thought it was the Physicians Formula. It's not facial cleansing formula. That's fragrance free. They also make this liquid Neutrogena in a, in a bar. Yeah. Um, I was suggested to use the, the Elote. There's a certain, um, pink soap that smells really good that you can chop up. And I used it, but I, I felt like it left a residue or a film. I prefer to use a face wash on my makeup stuff. I just do. Even the brush and or sponge cleansers, sometimes I, I just don't feel like they do as good of a job. Uh, somebody suggested shampoo. I tried that. Um, I didn't love it. I just love a face wash, but I'm not going to use my expensive stuff. No, that's right. Mm -hmm. So I love the, the Neutrogena, truly. It's, that's a it great idea, out. actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he has his own... This is Chauncey's very own personalized little <laughs> bottle of face wash. It sits right next to mine. We wash our face every night at the same That's time. That's a great I wash idea. Night. And then I just re-wet him in the mornings when I wake up. Yeah. There's, um, I know a lot of people even say about, like, they really put down cinema secrets. And I know after, or like, if you're a professional makeup artist, you have to disinfect this stuff. Mm -hmm. So you yeah. have to, and even when I used to work at an esthetician's office, all the sponges, um, anything that was being reused, actually, she would soak in alcohol. She would um, really mm -hmm. disinfect the whole thing. And Cinema Secrets has alcohol, and that's why people are saying don't use it. It's hard on your brushes. But especially after 2020, ever, I, uh, there was a makeup artist that I watched. She's really talented, and she showed how she did it with everything, and if she had to buy new brushes, she had to buy new brushes, but she had to disinfect with the cinema secrets first. Cause and yeah. your sponge is the same. Like if you feel like you can't get that deep clean with a, a, a bar, I don't want to say a brand, but a makeup, yeah. a makeup shampoo kind of thing. Yeah. I'd love one of these days I'm going to look through the ingredients of all of these things that, that compare like your soap to, to when it, I don't want to, I don't want to bash any brand, but I, I do yeah. think sometimes it's marketing and, mm -hmm. and uh, like I washed this, don't kill me, but I washed this with Dawn today Dawn yeah. because it's, it needs, it's an oil. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have to break down the foundation, mm -hmm. I have to break it down or it's not gonna, and I'm gentle and I wash yeah. it out. Like, I mean, I'm nice to it. I don't yeah. even remind Maury, yeah. but um so I agree. Some products doesn't work so good. Yeah. That's fine. It, yeah. So, it, and if you want to take care of your brushes that way, that's completely fine. But you know, not everybody has the money. I, I, I bought a, 
a brush brand soap and it was really good, but I went through that thing. Like I had one gifted to me. That's expensive from the parents. (laughs) And I just didn't, um, it was a wedding gift. No, I'm just kidding. I didn't, I just, I felt like I couldn't get like a good lather, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So I just, and you know, the Neutrogena is like, I don't even know what that caught, but this lat it lasts right. It's one pump, you know. There you um, go. And, and if when it works, I notice it, it really can get, you know, deep in there, I will squirt a little like micellar water or um, eye makeup remover down into it. I do too. It'll break it all up, and then it, you would. I, it's funny because I'll like be washing him with you know, cleanser and he will, he'll, he'll rinse clean. And then I'll squirt a little bit of that down in there. And sure enough, more will come up and out. And it makes sense, right? If we can't get it off our face without an oil cleanser, without Mm -hmm. something to break up the makeup. Yeah. It makes total sense. Yeah. Okay. So back onto the cream. You you did a video the other day. I think I did see that. I'm, I, now I just need a refresher of, but your preference would be powder, bronzer and, and blush. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't not like it, but I feel like a a cream lends better to a brush application Mm -hmm. and I'm not, I mean, I, you know what it is? I'm not, and I even funny enough, I said this in the video, I'm not conditioned for brush movements. Um, so it felt like a lot of blending, a lot of work. Um, which is funny because I use a brush to apply a powder or two, but you know, you blending out the entire thing with foundation and everything just felt kind of like a lot. And then it leaves that creamy finish that I'm just not necessarily used to. Did I feel more oily at the end of the day? No. Did I powder it down as much as I normally do? Also, no, I didn't. Um, Mm -hmm. I did put a little powder over the cream, but not, but it kind of defeats the purpose. Like the whole idea yeah. of a cream is to is to give mm-hmm. it that that emollient kind of dewy fresh look. So mm-hmm. you can do that with something like a like an hourglass um, ambient blush where they have mm-hmm. a they're beautiful. Have you ever used those? Mm-mm. No, they're beautiful. Where, or you could even just add a little highlight on your cheek, and you can get that same effect without. Because sometimes I find that when you're um, oily skin girls or guys, doesn't matter if you've worked so hard to make everything matte and, and cover for me, it's more coverage. Cause I've got all this going on. I have to, if I'm going to use a cream, I've got to make sure that it doesn't lift my foundation or disrupt the foundation that I work so hard on. Mm-hmm. So it, everything that you put on top of it, it is going to, it has to interact well together. Yeah. Right? right. So I, I do like them, but I, I, it's not always, it, it doesn't work for everybody and it doesn't work for every foundation. That's for sure. Right. So, yeah. Especially a, a bronzer too. Like even a stick, if you, so what bronzer did you use? Well, first of all, okay. Which bron- which cream bronzer did you use and like, and then what would your go-to bronzer be in a powder form? I use the Hula the benefit bronzer. And, um, I think it's Hula. It's the benef- benefit stick. Um, what's well, a stick? It's that's the cream that I like. Maybe it's not Hula. It's no, it's Hula. This one. Oh, okay. I haven't tried that one before. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's super creamy. Good. I feel like it's a kind of a good shade for me. It's yeah. And do you, do you apply it directly onto your cheek? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, oh. And then powder, I physician's formula. I know. I love that one. I do. Yeah. I, I used to, to love the, this Maybelline master bronze kit because it had like a four shade range in it. Mm-hmm. So it had a contour, um, a bronzer, a highlight. And then I don't even know what you call the other color, something in mixed of all of those things. I really liked it. They discontinued it and now you can't find it anymore. But so I had to, I didn't have to. I know I had to switch to something else and I chose the physician's formula because I had tried a handful and for whatever reason that one. And it's funny because when I talk about it, so many people love it. I love it. Yeah. It, it's, I, almost, it's too, it's not, it's, there's a hint of radiance 
very mm -hmm. slight. It's not or satin. There's a little bit of satin feel to it, so it's not so extremely matte. And when when you've got a when you add a little bit of satin to something, it blends really easily and it gives that soft diffused look versus matte sometimes can be a little bit more powerful. Mm -hmm. It just kind of sh helps shear it out a little bit more. You can build it. The smell is delicious. And mm -hmm. it comes in many different colors. It does. Yeah, yeah I, I yeah. love it too. I yeah. My daughter stole it on me the last time. So I have one. I bought I had to buy another one. They do. But some people don't like it for the smell, but I love it for the smell. I, I, I know smells are people are it's sensitivity things with, yeah. with smells a lot. And sometimes that can get me too. Yeah. Um, but that doesn't break you out. Ever. It doesn't. Mm -mm, no, I, cause I don't feel like it's super strong. Like, yeah, there's a smell to it, but yeah. it's not sometimes even products that are scent or fragrance free, they still smell like a product, you know? Yeah. And sometimes that can even be stronger than what I think that scent is, but I also get that people can be sensitive to sense. Anyway, I'm just still kind of like chatting and going around and pow. Ooh, yeah. She got a lot up there. Um, I try not to go super, super hard on my forehead because I, you know, lines, you know, I did go a little harder probably than I normally would. I would typically start out here with a fresh dip because I got nothing going on over there yeah. and carry up excess to lined areas and I really just avoid the under eyes all all together okay yeah I bought the purple or lavender pow pretty powder and the, the fun little velour puffs because you know you see everybody doing this thing oh absolutely not absolutely no. <laughs> Mm -mm. Did I it. didn't fall for the glow recipe, but I did fall for that bag of nonsense. Yeah. It looked like I had 19 stripes underneath my eyes. I'm like, well, that's not what I was going for. <laughs> Jod I'm just going to show Jody's. She's the, she's going to, she's lovely. She's going to be the one on, on, uh, with me on Mon Wednesday. Sorry. I love it. Nice. <laughs> I feel like. you tiny little picture. I feel like, oh, right. That's on your phone. I forgot. Mm -hmm. I have it on a big screen. So I, that's what I loved always about working in a team of people too, as makeup artists, because you learn, and as a hairstylist, everybody has unique um, ways of doing things. And, mm -hmm. but you're not technically a makeup artist, but we learn from you all the time. Yeah. I mean, yeah. don't, you, you don't have to say technically. I am not a makeup artist. <laughs> no, you're not. But <laughs> but you have a, a hundred and fifty thousand followers on TikTok. People like what you do. Well, that's because I wear funny headbands and I say weird <laughs> shit. <laughs> Tough. Thanks. <She's> <laughs> um. Yeah, I mean, I guess we have a saying at the office that if you hang out in the bathroom long enough, you'll learn insurance. You know. Yeah. Even if you're just there to poop, you're going to figure it out someday. You're just going to hear chatter. Right. So it's kind yeah. of the same thing. I play in makeup every single day. So I know me, I know what works for me. I know what products yeah. I like. I love spending money on makeup. I, you know, paint my own fingernails and try to extend my hair life and all of those things because my excess goes to hair and makeup and I don't like the pressure of PR very much. So yeah. I, you know, got a little bit of that rock skincare stuff. That's the only PR that I've gotten for the I last actually, year. I'm sorry. I did. I answered you wrong. I've never gotten anything from them. I, I really, I really enjoy when brands send, and I don't get a lot of PR at all, mm -hmm. but when they send it to me and with no strings attached, I love that because yeah. if I like it, I will absolutely tell people about it. But yeah. if I don't, I like, people will say, can we send you this and we'll pay you with a skincare product. I'm like, I don't even know if I like it. Yeah. And honestly, yeah. if I really like something, I'm just going to tell you anyway. Yeah. So, right. Yeah. Cause I just, we're nice. We're nice like that morning. It's the Canadians in us. <laughs> I, I was thinking about it. And I'm like, so my father is um, Canadian, which already explains enough about my kindness, but my mother is from Oregon. So I'm half Canadian, half Oregonian. Yeah. You're just nice. I can't even help it. You can't even help reading. it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Oh, it's so funny. And Stein, one of my very first jobs was working for a Denmark-based company, uh, Skagen Designs. I don't know if you know this, but um, I don't know. I'm, I don't. Obviously, you don't know that about me, but I don't know if you are aware of that brand. I don't know that they exist anymore. That was quite a number of years ago. But man, I have the funniest stories from those people. They would come in in their exact, like exactly how you would picture a, a Denmarkian. No. How do you call your, what do you call yourself, Stein? Holland people are Dutch. American. Hey. She'll answer in a second. Okay. So, oh my gosh, some of the best stories. I remember the very first time we were in a staff meeting. She comes in. We're in there. I, I don't know. I just guess I had not been asked a question or hadn't spoken to her up until that point. Because, you know, she was the owner, big, like, flits in, flits out. And I said something, she stopped the meeting, looked me right in my eyes and says, you should not be working here. I'm going to botch the accent. You should not be working here. Uh, you should be working in a 900 operator because my voice. I know. I was oh, because you had a sexy voice? Because I have a very deep voice. Yeah, you have a, you know? mm -hmm. oh yeah. Yeah. And what, I was like, thank you. Mm -hmm. Stein, I'm going to ask her, just Stein, I'm Canadian. What are you? Canadian. I, like, she can hear me. Why am I typing? Stein. <laughs> I, it wouldn't be a Denmarkian. Denmarkian? That just sounds way too easy. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, oh, I'm a Nevadan. That's too funny. Okay, so now what are you putting on? I'm just adding a little bit of the physician's formula. I do a little, you know, up here. Not a whole lot. Because yeah. I'm still, again, I'm so fair. Yeah. And I feel like I'm fairer. And I believe you would probably agree after our visit to Ulta. Then I appear. Danish. Danish. Of course. What a moron. <laughs> I, do, I wouldn't know. I've learned something. Danish. Today. Of course you're Danish. It's my favorite treat too. <laughs> like my gosh, get me a Danish any day of the week, a person or a pastry. You know what I'm saying? And I am in love. <laughs> too funny. Um, and then I just go a little here and okay. I don't know if you really even notice it yeah you do yeah you do stein's laughing at you <laughs> <sighs> oh so, it's funny my husband's um, dutch so i was noticing too i i know we're probably not gonna have time for your eyeshadow or anything but i i do want to talk to you about your mascara because you were doing that whole thing on tiktok where you had transfer and do you feel like that's well first of all your lashes are extremely long but do you mm -hmm. feel like that also has to do with you being more oily or is it just because your lashes are so long because you you did have p spots like oh with with all three of those products from that particular brand i had transfer and what's funny is after the very first day because i just filmed them day one day two day three put it on in the morning here's my reaction at the end of the day after the first one which actually turned out to be the least amount of transfer i was like Oh no. Yeah. Oh, well, good. I'm glad this was the one I, cause I tried the one I was least excited about first and, or that I had heard the least amount of feedback from, um, because I know one of those is it, people's Holy grail mascara, but here's the reality. Like when I wear other mascaras, I don't get that. So, yeah. um, listen. to me, it was a, a product reaction because I love the the Lancome, the Idol A mascara, yeah. um, Lancome. Um, I do. Lancome I, Idol. Mm -hmm, Idol. This one. Idol, yeah. yeah. This one is my favorite. Never transfer at all. I don't. Have you tried the Fan Fest from Benefit? No, but now I'm a little jaded by Benefit because that three, the three that I tried were all that. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Like Just, Bad Girl Bang, which is number, like, that's people's number one. Like, Kelly, right, I forgot is it brand. Kelly Rossano on, t I don't know. She does, like, the mascara, mm -hmm. 30 days of mascara, whatever. I feel like that is, was, like, her in her top three if it wasn't her number one at one point. And for me, that transferred worse than any of them. This is why, again, I think it's so, and I think I've said this three times now, what works for you, what works for me, like it doesn't mean it's going to work for you. Yeah. So, so it's like, 
this though, I love. Okay, this is the um the one the size. One size. Mm -hmm. This I actually am going to go on and purchase that because I ordered the one the setting spray. Um, and this came as like my free gift. You see that? I, yes. Okay, I have. If I'm gonna pick, probably my number two favorite mascara. It's the Green Essence. I'm a primer guy. Yeah. But I love a good primer with anything. So I always buy the matching primer. I've tried this one. I've tried the pink one. I've tried uh I've I've tried every single one of the essence ones. I, I tried do. I don't think I tried the green one. I think I tried um can't remember which one I tried. It's but I different I tried. brushes. So the green one has a little bit more of, you know, kind of a Christmas tree brush yeah. where the pink one is the like the figure eight looking. And then the blue one is waterproof. Okay. Um, and then their primer is just their primer. But I also, when I'm using the Lancome, Lancome, I use their primer. Yeah. Um, I'm also old, old school, like OG. When I before I really changed mascaras for years, I used the L'Oreal mm -hmm. uh, Voluminous mascara. Yeah, that also was my favorite. Their primer. Mm -hmm. like but this, primer. this right here. I can put on my lashes and I don't need a primer and it doesn't, it doesn't. Flip. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna One thing it. I noticed about the essence is it doesn't transfer on me every time I wear it, but I will get maybe a dot or two that I can just easily do a little flick and it, it goes away. Um, where's your cat? Chilling somewhere. <laughs> What's his mm -hmm. name again? Frank. Frank. Yeah. <laughs> Frank, the Wonder Kitty. Oh, that's um, so that one doesn't. Is that one hard to remove? Mm -mm. Uh, no, no. Okay. Um, like I don't prefer the Thrive. Um, I've never mascara. Tried it. It's the tubing mascara. Yeah. Um, it uh, yeah no. I, I've had a lot of people recommend it to me. I purchased it. It's thirty dollars. It's kind of a and you know it's up with the other higher end prices because even you know my preferred mascara now is like twenty eight dollars. So yeah, I I it, there was something about that tubing effect when I went to wash it. I didn't feel like it came off very easy, mm -hmm. and I I try to take good care of my lashes because yeah. I have good lashes, cool, right? Yeah. yeah. And that whole, you could feel them come on, like you could do that and you could see like the little tubes that it would create. It tripped me out. I felt like my eyeballs were falling off. It was weird. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't, but some people I could see where that would be like, like almost like a satisfying thing to do every night. Remove, I've never tried that one, but other tubing mascaras, I would put my cotton pad on with the warm water and I would just let it sit there, you know, mm -hmm. whatever. And then I just kind of push it down like that. And it, it would, did look like your lashes were falling out of the, out into the sink. It freaked me yeah. out in the beginning. Yeah. yeah. But I'm going to try that one then. Yeah. So, I really do like that guy. One, one more thing before. So uh, two more things before we go, cause I know we will, uh, lipstick you have an easy time with. You're not, it's just whatever lipstick mm -hmm. you don't have issues with your oily, anything oily kind of doing that lips are completely different. It's a completely different texture and, and yeah. everything else. And your eyebrows, do you powder your eyebrows first? You got me onto LA girl, uh, the, mm -hmm. the shady slim brow, but I can't get that color. It's hard to get for me. It's okay. Not well, uh, send me your address and I'll ship you up my talc free, Laura Mercier powder, you know, because I'm allergic to returning things and uh, I'll get you some, give some, that to your mom. Slim shady. Okay. Give that to your mom. That would be good for Lindy. I just powdered those just for you. There we go. Um, my brows are, even though I'm a, a Gen X baby, um, I, I didn't over, over pluck really. Yeah. I was too worried at that time, honestly, about all the hair that was growing in on my chin to try and worry about removing extra hair in places where hair should be. So yeah. I wasn't even, even worried about that. Where, what was I digging in here for? Oh, but this elf wow brow, the elf wow brow is my favorite elf wow brow mm -hmm, for my brows. So you have that for me would be a struggle because I don't have a lot of brows. 
So they didn't it has little fibers. Old minor. I think I should mm -hmm. try that though. It's got those. I mean, you can't really tell. Kind of, you can tell. It's it got those the fibers. Yeah, little little fibers. So I use the shady pencil to shape, and then I'll fill with this, and then just to add some extra strokes because I like to bring mine in just a little bit closer to my third eye yeah. right there, um, <laughs> just to really accentuate her. Uh, yeah. I use the NYX Lift and Snatch because okay. you can really create a nice That's next. fine. Uh, I don't know if you can see that because it's so fair, but yeah, a fine point. So I'll just kind of bring those in a little bit, you know, just with that guy, just even kind of doing that. I, I wouldn't do, go that crazy about it, but you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Um, what about SPF? Nobody's asked about that. All right. That's a great mm -hmm. question. Mm -hmm. You know what I say? Is Who? it possible to get a link to your guest channel? Is she a content creator? Yes. So she's at Buffalo Trinket th three mm -hmm. um, on TikTok and here on YouTube. But YouTube. Do you ever want to grow your YouTube channel? Yeah. Oh, and I on mean... Stein, she's on Instagram too. Mm -hmm. So I think um, I'm not going to keep you. Yes. we No, let's talk about sunscreen. Okay. Or, well, um, yes. If I put on a sunscreen, like a moisturized sunscreen of any type underneath my skincare, the mix with the oils, when they start to come just without fail every time. And I've tried so many, I have the best results again from the same brand that I like to use the eminence brand. Um, my favorite SPF, they discontinued and my little guy gave me a bunch of samples, but oh. now it's gone. Yeah. So what I have found works the best for me is an after a mist. Okay. So there's like setting, there's actual makeup setting sprays with SPF. This is called super spritz vacation. It's a 50. Um, I've tried the Kula brand, um, okay. super goop. I, I've tried a lot. Um, the Kula one is the makeup setting spray and an SPF, but I believe it's only a 30 and you feel like you should probably put on a gas mask while you're putting it on your face, which okay. defeats the purpose. It is really strong. This smells like a vacation. So it, yeah. you can mist it. It's What's kind it of coconutty. Here? Maybe it's called super spritz. Vacation is the name of the brand. Okay. I know I'm inverted, but, um, no, you're not actually. Okay. Yes. Uh, vacation, I believe is yep. the brand name. And then it's just the super spritz SPF 50 okay. and it's just a great mess. You know, it's fun. I put it in my kids' backpacks too. Just that you know. would be great for anybody because what do we do when we, when we have to wear sunscreen, nobody wants to put sunscreen mm -hmm. on their face after they put makeup on. That's going to, well, you can't reapply. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, you're good oh, for your 45 great. minutes or, or whatever you've got. And what I do notice about it is that it doesn't melt me. Like I don't begin to um, get overly, it just kind of goes on and, and dries down pretty quickly. It doesn't seem to affect a little, a little, but yeah. it's worth it. Especially if I know that I'm going to be out in the sun with yeah. makeup on. Because a lot of the times if I'm out in the sun, I'm probably not going to have makeup on. And so then I'll put everything under the sun on my face to but be the sun. Sun. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. yeah and and no problems there um yeah. and that's maybe when a tinted moisturizer or a cream stick is a little bit nicer to to use in, in those instances like when we go on vacation or something like that but yeah. the other one you said uh, you liked was bosma right that foundation mm -hmm. I do really like that foundation stick. So I use the bon Bosma foundation stick with the Benefit bronzer. And then I have a handful of different cream um, blushes that yeah. pretty much I, I like them all. If you have a cream base, then a good cream blush is, you know, going to yeah. look, look good. But, good. Yeah. Does anybody else have, it's okay, Stein. She's on, uh, we're going to help her grow her YouTube channel. So um, Stein wants to follow you on, on your YouTube channel. You got to just keep putting your stuff on I from it. over to your shorts. 
Easy peasy, yeah. same thing. Just add on your shorts on your phone. Yeah. And then Stein, then Stein can see you there because she wants to support you. And oh, honestly, Stein is the biggest supporter. She's so good. She's so good. Um, she even gives me ideas on like on a side note. She'll give me ideas to help me with my channel. So is there anything else we're forgetting? I know I I don't I want to respect your time and I and I um I know that it's a long time sitting here. So anything else that we can think of? Gosh. I'm Next time we're gonna get you on here and show me your eye makeup. Oh gosh. So good at your eye makeup. I'm trying to think of things that people ask me. Um if you get if you we get kind of cover it. If you get a spot, do you um, do you have spot treatments? Do you believe in those? Like you've seen those little stickers where people put that on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I By love it. I yeah, I love the benefit one or the the mighty patch. Mighty patch. Okay, uh -huh. that's Hero Cosmetics. I've purchased quite a few of the different I the patch sticker treatment ones for me are the best um my guy james gave me a he's the one that gave me the salicylic acid it's a mask but i, I just will put use it as a spot treatment as well yeah. um i've never actually used it as a full face mask i've just only used it as a spot treatment thing so that's like what i'll rub you know here or sometimes if i feel like i'm getting extra oily right here near that time of the month or something like that yeah i mean i think it's also because it's my sleeping side i'll just rub it right there but those patches work the best and i had him give me oh there's another line that he uses something it was a little bit stronger of a of a patch treat treatment and it it just flares them up and like almost makes them worse so yeah even in my treatment i have to be very selective but the patches and specifically the hero the hero brand works amazing and then they even have this not that but they have this um rescue bomb it's a green correcting oh i've seen this that before. i'll even squirt this in with some of my spf because i have also with eminence i have this it's an spf that's a little bit green you can kind of see yeah i'll mix these two because this will turn tannish it'll it, it'll change to color um so like when you you know it's green there but when i rub it in kind of like the parabell i don't know if you've seen that yeah, it totally yeah, turns in yeah. but it's a little bit dark for me <laughs> but a if little. i mix it with the spf then i get a little color correcting with some s that's what i would do at the beach okay mm -hmm. um here you got another question yeah <laughs> it was from the movie Dr. Doolittle when he, a huge portion of my language is movie quotes. Um, but when he's in, there's a scene in the waiting room and there's a woman screaming at her dog, lie down, Chauncey. And he's like, man, calm down. Like, cause you can hear the animal's thoughts. Right. And that just has always been one of those funny things, names. <laughs> <laughs> that stuck with me because you don't hear that name very often. And yeah, that's where, that's where I it came it. from. See my little guy right there. Mm -hmm. I love it. That's a, uh, um, actually I love that movie. I have to watch it again. Any that's other good. questions guys? I, I can hear my son out there. He's my son's home for two weeks. Um, Aww, yay. From, uh, military from training. So mm -hmm. I appreciate you so much, Maury. Yeah, I'm, of course. I'm so she's there. You got your laugh. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll, uh, if you ever want to do this again, I want you to grow your channel because I think everybody would love you on YouTube. And you already felt. I know. I know. Although I've been kind of slacky. It's been a lot yeah, lately, but everybody back on. The summertime though. Yeah. So, and I love you. I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you guys for being here and me here with us in the chats. And I will, um, I'm going to post this and put it on hopefully my uh, Facebook at some day. If I ever get that back, I'll create a new one. And I'm going to put this up on YouTube and um, save it. I know there's a few people that are waiting to see this on the 
on the saved version. So thank you guys. Let me just uh, say, I don't know if anyone who else is here. Let me see if Lanny's still here. There we go. And she, love you guys. Bye. Ah, <laughs> in the stream now.